Hey, it's Chris Reddick with Your High School Sports, and it's signing day. And you know what? We're off to a great start because we're here at Elizabethan, and we have one outstanding cyclone here. We got Mr. Austin Allen. He's a, just a good all-around athlete, and he's going to be signing with Emory and Henry. So, Austin, just first of all, just I'm sure you're really excited about this this day. Just tell me how excited you are. Uh, I'm pretty excited to continue my football career and see where it takes me. Now, I know that you're going to Emory and Henry. Uh, what made you decide to go to Emory? Um, when I took a couple of visits there, I liked the atmosphere. And when we had a meeting, they said that football players have a 100% graduation rating. And I connected really good with coaches, and I thought it was a good fit for me. Now, like I said, we talked about how great of an athlete you are. Uh, what position are they going to have you focus on once you get up there? Um, I'm going to focus on running back, and they might put me at wide receiver, but mostly focus on running back. Are you ready to kind of play anything and everything wherever they put you? Wherever they need me, I'll, I'll do it. That sounds great. Well, you know, Emory is a good academic school as well. Uh, what's some of the things you may go into, some of the fields that you're looking into at Emory? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into business and try to take over a family business, see if that works out for me. Sounds great. And one final question. Who would you like to credit all the success you have at this point to be able to get this scholarship? Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for always being there, supporting me, and all my coaches up until now, and help me be who I am now. Austin Allen, you're going to see him as a wasp coming up in the fall. Hey, keep watching your high school sports. Hey, Chris Redd again with your high school sports. Great day today for a lot of college athletes, got a lot of college football players as well. Just like Carter ever here at Elizabethan, he is a cyclone, but as of today, he's going to be able to be fortunate enough to keep that orange and black because he is signing with Tussum. Carter, uh, I just talked to Austin. He said he's pretty excited. How excited are you to be a Tusculum Pioneer? I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm beyond thrilled. I mean, it's a, it's a dream come true to play college football. I mean, when you step into high school, I mean, the first thing you want to do is think about playing college football. I mean, the process, the recruiting process was long, but I mean, I think I found a great place for me and my family to just go there and play. Now, I understand, like you said, the recruit process was long, and I'm sure you know a lot of schools were wanting you. What made you decide to go to Tuscan? I mean, the coaching staff was unbelievable. I mean, Coach Odin, the head coach, and the uh, offense coordinator and quarterback coach, Coach Ferguson, are uh, just unbelievable to me. My visits felt great, and I mean, it just it's only an hour from here, really. I mean, it just that, that was the unbelievable part about it. That's a great thing. You'd be close to home. Now, I'm sure you're going to be, like I said, playing quarterback. Are you going to be able to compete? going into the fall? Um, from my understanding, yes, I'll be able to compete. I mean, they had two guys graduate last year, and I mean, I'm looking forward to going there and compete in the camp and just uh, see if I can get the shot at starting. Awesome, awesome. Carter, uh, you know, I know football is important to you, but uh, academics is just as important as well, and Tuscum is a good school. Uh, you know, what field that you're going into at this point? Uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, broadcasting or sports management. I really want to do broadcasting, be like you one day, so I mean, uh, I'm really looking to do that. You know, I need to give the mic to him, let him interview me, go let him go ahead and get a good start now. Hey, I'm sure you'll do a good job of that. Carter, um, you know, this is an outstanding quarterback. I mean, he's broke a lot of records here at the school. He's also ranked one of the top ten all time in, in the state of Tennessee, so I know he's going to be off to a good start to play at Tuscan, which you'll be able to get to see because he's here locally, like I said, just an hour away. But, Carter, one final question. Who would you like to credit all the success at this point in your life? I mean, uh, first and foremost, God. I mean, without him, I mean, I've, I've had three surgeries in my career, and uh, you know, God really got, got me through all of them. My, my mom and dad and my grandparents, my grandparents have always been great to me. My aunt and uh, my sister and my, my little brother have been, been awesome to me. My teammates obviously have been unbelievable to me, my coaching staff. I mean. Those two knuckleheads right there, the two of the best receivers, I think, in the state. So it's great having them. They make you look good, huh? Yes, hey, one final question before you go. Uh, just want to have a little fun with you. You know, Carter is, what, about 6'5"? Is, yes, uh, is there any chance they, we may see you play basketball? I know you play here at the school. Is there any chance you may get on the court? No, no, not at all. Not at all. You should see me play here. I have no chance of playing college basketball. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, congratulations to you, Carter. Appreciate it. Thank you. Chris Redder with your high school sports, and like I said, we're having a great time. We're still here at the Elizabethan, home of the Cyclones, and home of a lot of outstanding players that are going to be going to the next level, like Mr. Garrett Jennings. And Garrett, I want to first talk to you. Uh, like I said, you, you've been a starter your whole career, but unfortunately, you, like I said, weren't able to play your senior year, but uh, I'm sure that even though you had a little stumble there that last year, uh, you've got to still be excited to be able to have an opportunity to play the next level. Yes, I'm very excited to uh, make a new career out of college and see what it has to bring me. 
Eastern Kentucky, very good school that you chose. Um, what made you decide to go there? Um, the town, everybody in it, the coaches, the players, they, you know, they just they made you feel welcome. They made it feel like it was another home to me. Good. Well, you know, it's not that far away. So, like I said, I'm sure that you'll have a lot of family and friends that will support you. Now, if you don't know, see, we're sitting down. But he stands at about, what, six foot seven, six foot eight? So, so, th so this is a, already, to me, looks like a nice NFL prospect. Um, with that being said, um, do they already have plans for playing you right away in the fall? And if so, where are they going to actually decide to play you? Um, they, I'm sure they want to play me. Um, I mean, but I just, I'm gonna have to, it's going to be like everybody else. I'm going to have to work extremely hard. You know, I'm, I'm not just going to be able to walk in and just take it. I'm just going, I'm going to have to cut, you know, earn it. Well, let's backtrack just a little bit. Like I said, with you being injured uh, uh, in this past season, what's some of the things you've done to this point to kind of just kind of rehabilitate yourself to be ready for college football? Um, with the time that I've had, you know, missing a lot of the games and stuff, I've been working out tremendously. Um, I've been rehabbing three times a week. You know, I've got to make sure my grades are on point, so i was been focusing on that too. You know, just staying in the right track. Well, Gary, congratulations to you, but i got one final question. Uh, with the success you've had at this point, who would you like to give the credit to at this time? I would definitely have to give credit to um, Ryan Witt, and he is, he is a lot of the reason why I'm where I'm at today. He's, he's made me, and not just a football player, just as a man and a, football, and a better football player, you know, taking me in under his wing, uh, seventh grade year at Ted Duggar, you know, from then on to, hit to now, it's just, he cares so much about so many, all the little kids and wants to make a difference. And if that's what they want, and that's he is going to be there to back up, and that's what I want, and that's what I strive for. And Ryan was always there for me, and I could always come to him. It's always good to have good mentors and coaches in your life. Once again, Gary, congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, and keep watching your high school sports.